Hello everyone, welcome back to the fifth episode of the Emperor of the World mod. Today, I have decided we are going to punish Ireland for its refusal to unite with Scotland. We are going to make them part of the French Empire. And I still can't believe. The Ottoman Empire declared war on Wallachia. Um... The, well, that is, uh, interesting. I now have the Ottoman Empire declaring war on faction members. That is not cool. Wachia wants me to help defend them. I will gladly. Serbia wants to join the faction. I will do my best. Maybe Albania even wants to join, even though I'm declaring war on them. I'm going to cancel my justification against them currently. You know, I'm going to call Serbia to arms. Alright. Uh, let's push the Ottomans... Oh, man. I got this massive land border over here that's undefended. Oops. Alright, um, quick thinking here. Sure, you take the command of those troops. Uh, defend the Caucasus region of Russia to the best of your ability. Alright, what's going on in Ireland? I'm all over the place. We look like we're ready to kill Ireland. Alright, in the last episode I said we probably wouldn't make any new friends. Well, I was wrong. I'll be interested to see if the United States declares war on me. Alright, what faction are these people in? The common term? The common term doesn't exist. And am I at war with the United States again? No. Yes? No? I don't even know. Sweden and Norway joined the common term. Oh man, we literally just started a new world war. Thankfully, they don't really border me. Allies, you're gonna have to defend that for now. Actually, I take that back. I really don't need to defend the mainland Europe anymore. Alright, let's make a fallback line in Copenhagen. Or just get to Copenhagen, I guess would be good enough. Alright, let's declare war on the Ottomans. World War, whatever this is, has finally erupted. The Ottomans are probably going to demolish me in North Africa. I don't really care. I mean, yeah, I'll lose that oil, but... Once we have the Ottoman Empire as part of our uh, country, we'll be just fine. Apparently the Ottomans are not in a faction, so once we take them over, it'll be game over for them. Someone wants to join the faction. The Mexican Empire! Alright! Mexico, you rock! Jo I'm calling you to arms. Mexico apparently wants to declare war on the Serbians. That is great. Alright, Irishmen. Do you remember when I offered to let you join Scotland with no war? Should have taken me up on that offer. But, for whatever reason, you did not want to. Alright, apparently now Mexico wants to join the French-Irish War. All my allies want to get involved in this war. Against the Ottomans. North Africa, I am slowly crumbling to the Turks. Holy cow, that is a lot of stuff. Um, you know what, I know the easiest way to do this. I'm calling all my allies to all the wars. 
holy cow, the game is like crashing. All right. We are pushing the Ottomans back. All right. The, the Kingdom of America is falling again. I'm not going to make the mistake of letting them live again. Apparently now they're in the common term. At least they were not able to rebuild a military. Alright, well, it looks like we were able to sneak into Sweden and Norway before they could do anything too dangerous. Finland... I'm sorry to say this, but you might have to be invaded. Because <laughs> I don't know how likely it is we're going to be able to jump the straight here. It's not looking very good for us. So, yeah. But the Turks here, they, I don't know why they declared war on me. I would have let them join the faction. You know, I need to... What ships do I have? Scramble seven ships and stick them on the Eastern Mediterranean. Blow up any Turkish ships you see. Push them back. Alright, we are going to just drive them straight into the sea. They're going to drown. Alright, we will invest in our shipbuilders. Oh yes, we are going to kill so many Turkish divisions, it's not even going to be funny. Ottoman, Turkish, same thing. There's so many of them going to die. We don't have a war goal again. I don't care about them. How is the war in Ireland going? We've annihilated them. Alright, um, why don't you guys just go back to threatening Portugal. So you guys were doing an excellent job of that. Alright, the Ottoman Empire is at... 471,000 casualties and going to skyrocket here in a second. Sixty... That's like a, over a hundred divisions we just encircled. The Ottoman Empire lost a million troops right there. Holy cow. Oh, and we just encircled them again. If we can cross the strait here. There's no way they could stop us. Alright, everyone. Get across the Black Sea. What? what the Dardanelles Strait. If you can cross the Dardanelles, we will win. Yeah, they took some of North Africa. Not even that much. Well, the Ottomans are dead now. Alright, we also have our caucus units. You guys push in. The Ottoman Empire with their huge amount of losses I don't think can handle this very well. Man, did they take a beating. 1.56 million casualties. Our units are just pouring across the Dardanelles. I think that's the name of that strait. We're pushing into Anatolia from the north out of the Caucasus. We're pouring into there from uh, the Balkans. They don't even look like they're tr trying to resist that much. 
Man, we got them good with that uh, encirclement. That was devastating. I've never seen an encirclement that good before. Apparently they're try only trying to defend the from the caucus region. You'd think they would resist a little more here. This is where the bulk of my army is. I mean, where's their capital now? Oh, it's Alexandria. It's not going to matter that much, though. The Ottomans can't really have that much fight left in them. They're, yeah, they're almost beat. They're mostly just putting on a show right now. Poker face. That was a devastating loss. encirclement. I've never seen anything so crazy. Oh, maybe we can push out of Copenhagen. That'd be something. Oh, we got an airport? Alright, we're gonna try this. Alright, where are our tactical bombers? I don't want a strategic bomber. Tactical, inner war... Apparently we're a little short on bombers, but they're going somewhere. Am I sure I don't have more? That seems awfully weird. I'm sure you guys are like, they're right there, they're right there, and I'm like, I don't see them. Alright, we'll use what little close air support we have too. Should probably make some of them. I'm sure we got a few factories now. We're not going to be able to keep up with our losses, but we will try. Alright, let's see if we can push it here into Sweden, Norway. Our planes are working on it. We have about two-thirds chance of winning there. The Ottoman Empire is still barely resisting us here in Asia Minor. Or, uh, Anatolia. We're just continuing to advance. Yeah, they're advancing in North Africa, but it really don't matter. At least I don't think it does. Not when you're getting beat that bad. Alright, there are our planes. I think the air support will definitely give us an advantage here. Yeah, it is. They just don't have the capability, I don't think, against the superior French Empire. Do they even have any airplanes? They do, they have 500 fighters. The Ottomans are beat. All right, um. All right, we are going to take them over. Because why not? At least they're coastal regions. We did most of the fighting here, so we will take it. I'll leave a, a region for Wallachia, maybe. We'll have to see if I have the war score to take the whole country. I do not. Apparently Wallachia doesn't have enough to take that region. Wallachia, would you please take that... Apparently someone puppeted the Kingdom of Egypt. No idea where that is. Probably some random island somewhere. No, it doesn't exist, so I have no idea. 
This empire is enormous. Alright, Sweden, Norway. Time for you to crumble. Alright, um... I guess we'll push into Sudan? I don't know why not. Who do I have available? I don't want to declare war on the English people's state. Alright, apparently the US is trying to make a few divisions to resist, but it's not going to matter. I still can't believe that, uh, oh, we, we did it. We broke through. Okay. Well, it's going to be game over for them. We got our air support and that's all that matters. Alright, take Malmo and defend our crossing. Do we have more troops to throw into battle? Not currently. We are trying. Got more shipyards. We'll make more convoys this time. Then we'll make some more light cruisers. Alright. We have a nice bridgehead now. How's the war in the US going? We've killed them off. That's great. No more changing governments. Sweden, Norway, your only chance to resist was to uh, not let me cross. But you let me cross, so you're doomed. The wider this front gets... Seriously, why do you guys have so many units on that island? Th yes, thank you for taking it, but that's kind of unnecessary. That is kind of crazy, you have so many units on that island. I don't even know how you could let supply everyone. If you want to get them on the front, that's great. Alright, apparently we have successfully invested in shipbuilders. We're going to build some synthetic factories for reasons that are known well to me. We have an oil crisis. A huge lack of rubber. All right, um, we'll go to the southeast dock dockyards. Our, apparently our manpower is still really strong. Several million available troops. How many factories does Sweden have? A 48 military, fa I'll let them get too strong. But that's okay. It's a mistake we're only going to make once. Canada joined the common term. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? Mexico is uh, on this continent. They might be able to do something. Alright, American divisions. Move out. Montana, what's your stake in this war? I don't know if you have a stake. Oh, you're a Del 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 Deloniest country, though. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that horribly. That means you're not really a friend to me. Alright, the fighting in Sweden is fierce, but we're slowly winning. Do we have more troops to give them? Come on. Alright, we got a few.
I mean, we're giving you guys air support. Well, how many more? What more do you guys need? You, you have all the equipment you could possibly need. How are they beating you? Alright, reinforcements are on the way. They really shouldn't have to be. Actually, I think we have some planes we can uh, pull back. Maybe higher quality airplanes will help win? Pretty sure I have some bombers down here I don't need either. Yeah, I have four. I have like 600 tactical bombers just flying over an island we don't need. Okay. Now let's figure out what we need here. Let's go 500 tactical more bombers. Oh shoot, that is way too many. Um, sixteen hundred twenty planes. All right, we'll put back. Actually, we'll use strategic bombers. We'll, we're gonna bomb them hard. Man, where do they get all these planes from? Seventeen hundred fighters? What are they doing? Stockpiling them the whole game? Apparently. All right, I need to invest in more planes. That's that is apparent. We need a diversion tactic here in Sweden. This this isn't working. We've stalled out. We're gonna regroup here a little bit. They have so many divisions on that little front. They have 183 divisions. Uh, we might have to attack through Finland. I mean, there's not really uh, any other way around this, I see. How's the war in Canada going? Pretty good. Got a few units surrounded. Took their capital. Oh, we, we're advancing in the north a little bit. Our allies are. Or should I say puppet? Canada's mostly beat. Alright, where is the Netherlands at? Seriously? They have that little spot in Curacao? That is their country? Okay, I don't even know how they became a major faction. At least we figured out where they're at. Alright, negative 10% still. Something is not working here. We need to make that like positive 10%. All right, let's let's try attacking. See if we can crack their lines a little. I mean, we do have the advantage of greater supply lines. Looks like we are pushing through in a couple spots. I mean, we don't really have greater supply lines. We just have a higher industrial base. I mean, we have 253,000 trucks. We can afford to lose a few. Th them, not so much. And every chance we, and every push we get on them and take some land, we not necessarily lower their population, but we, you know, we kind of do. We hurt their industrial base by taking factories out of the picture. Take over airfields, that's less planes for them, more bombers for us. I think we have, have some good momentum going now. I think we might have the odds in our favor. Ah, uh, we're stalled out over here. Oh, we're pushing. Uh, we need that airfield there. Alright, um... Can I put another 400 bombers in? No. 
Alright, 400 more fighters on. Anything to win. Okay, our research is going slow but steady. And we're winning on the ground, slowly. Oh, we have another airfield here. Alright. I'm just going to throw every single bomber we have in close air support. I don't care. We need all the firepower we can get. I, can we get more in industry? Yeah, we can. We can get the concentrate industry five. We need to do that. And the production line retention. Where we get higher models of plans. One thing that sucks though is we're not going to get that oil out of Mexico because we let them join the faction. But you know what? We can make oil. For short, sure. actually we're plus oil right now, so it's no big deal. We can we have the uh, we have enough factories. We can just build the refineries. It's no big deal. We definitely have plenty of land. I think it might have helped when we took Kuwait, too. What's Kuwait got? 27 oil? Yeah. Uh, Persia here. They got plenty of land. And oil. When we take them out. Oman has a little bit. Actually, does Sudan have oil? Sudan has a little bit of rubber. That's about it. Pretty much useless. What is West Africa? Oh, apparently it wants me to attack West Africa first. Okay, I can do that. Sorry, Sudan, you get to live to another day. Alright, the conquest of West Africa. Canada, how are you still fighting? They're hanging in there, uh, somewhat. Not declaring war on England, you crazy game. We're just getting bogged down here in Norway still, in Sweden. It's like trench warfare, but in the north. All right. I know you get. Yeah, I know you twelve divisions aren't exactly trained. I need more troops on that front. I need a lot more troops on that front. I need higher factory output. How many factories these fools still have? They still have 4,000 plans. Not cool. I think we're actually pushing them back finally. Miracles happen. Better get your troops out of there, they're gonna die. They died. Alright, that'll help. Alright, I think the momentum is firmly on our side now. We have a new. F we can upgrade to Fighter 2s. We don't gotta worry about being outclassed anymore, at least in uh, fighters. Please don't tell me I'm still building biplanes, okay. We are really short on oil now. That's okay. We're building plenty of refineries. Alright, Sweden. Your time is running out. Um, We need higher tactical bombers, too. And strategic bombers. We need better everything. Okay, we, we're, we're winning. We're winning in Sweden. Stockholm is in sight. It's under siege. I think when we take Sweet, I think when we take Stockholm, they'll pretty much be killed. Yeah, they're pretty much gone. 
We just gotta take a couple more small cities and we're, we'll be good. I feel like I should let my units build up a planning bonus again, but we're still winning on almost all the battles, so... I think we should just keep pushing. I mean, I think most of their uh, population lives in the south. At least I would think. I don't think Nord Norge is a high population, no. No, I think most of their population has been uh, effectively cut off now. I think they're manpower challenged. Would be my guess. Well, they're still only on extensive conscription. It's West Africa on limited conscription. 14 divisions. Oh man, that's going to be a cakewalk when we attack them. A literal cakewalk. Oh, there's another victory point in our war with Sweden. Canada's the same way. They're pretty much burnt out. Um. Yes, push on, guys. If you take a couple cities in Canada, they will be done. Sweden's the same way, they're almost gone. Alright, I think we have enough plane production. I don't really think there's any great superpowers left against us. Not really. The Zulu Republic? I don't know. That seems kind of sketchy. Alright, Sweden. Just give up. There you go. Good choice, Sweden. I don't know what you're shooting at. But it's scaring me. be honest, I think if we just took Halifax, we'd win. We'll see. We're, we're pushing. To the best of our abilities. I seriously need better logistics companies too, but it, this is so much to do. Why don't I have strategic bombers researched? No wonder we have hardly any. Alright, let's, let's take Halifax, win this episode, and we will call it episode 5. Canadians are retreating. Oh, I have Winnipeg. Alright, it looks like Louisiana might actually be making a break for it. But the Canadians here are massively cut off. So is it, how can Canada still... They have 59 divisions, but they are scraping the barrel. That makes sense. Okay, Halifax. Your time is near. Apparently we are going to conquest West Africa, too. And we're going to embark on the Congo Expedition. Alright, I forget which troops I have there. You, I have you here. Oh, apparently West Africa wanted to join the common term. Too bad. Not gonna matter. You, you are now part of France. Just as Canada will be. 
Once Halifax falls, of course. Oh man, the infrastructure up there is so horrible. Actually, all these troops here on this border are with Mexico that I don't need. What is wrong with me? Alright, um, let's threaten Grand Colombia. We won't do that exactly this turn, but... Ah, apparently Central America is one country. I don't think I noticed that yet. Louisiana, how did you get your butts handed to you by the dying Canadians? I, I don't understand. Alright, Frenchmen. Hurry up. We need to end this episode, and we have a Congo expedition coming up. I still can't switch to war economy. No one has anywhere near the factories I do. Alright, motorized drive due south. I don't care if your truck's almost out of gas or not, just do it. Alright, we're almost to Halifax. How did they retake Winnipeg? They don't get to retake Winnipeg. That's not allowed. Alright, it looks like we're winning the battle for Winnipeg though, so that's good. Halifax will soon crumble. West Africa has crumbled. The Congo expedition is set to start. We're we're uh we're going great here. Attack Libya, we've already done that. Um well I guess we'll have to expand again here. A French Canada. Well, uh, I think we've already done most of these trees, actually. Alright, seriously, defend Winnipeg, you fools. Did they... Push them off the continent. What are you doing? Oh, my troops are such fools. I have no idea how we're even losing here. This is embarrassing. How Canada still exists as a country right now. So embarrassing. Alright guys, I was hoping we could uh, kill Canada off this episode, but it appears that is not likely to happen. That's going to be a next episode thing. But next episode we will embark on the Congo Expedition. So if you guys like this episode, don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. Otherwise, as always, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.